Well, welcome. Uh, my name is Ed Tim, and uh, I run Mobius Therapeutics. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's humbling and it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you here today. I especially want to say uh, welcome and thank you to our dignitaries that have joined us. Mayor Slay from the City of St. Louis, County Executive Dooley from the uh, St. Louis County. Marsha Mellitz, uh, BioSTL, uh, she was president of uh, CET, this building here when we first moved in. And Dave Habel is the president of Synergetics USA, a very key manufacturer for uh, Mobius Therapeutics. And of course, thank you to all the, uh, the gathered media. Um, today's a very, very big day. It's uh, after six years of investment, it's a big day for Mobius Therapeutics, but it's also a very big day, we believe, for the St. Louis life science community. Um, in 2007, those of you that know uh, a little bit about Mobius Therapeutics. In 2007, we made a conscious decision to move back here to St. Louis. We were in Atlanta, and we made a conscious decision to move the business from Atlanta to St. Louis. And we did it for some very specific reasons. We did it uh, because of uh, very uh, key capital formation entities like the biogenerator. Uh, Charlie Bolton is here for the, the biogenerator. And uh, for the beautiful, incredible facilities like this one here at the Center for Emerging Technologies. We did it because of cooperative government and government that was uh, understanding of our needs, like the city of St. Louis, who's involved in this building as well, and for a very progressive and visionary uh, leadership at the county level uh, by uh, Mr. Dooley and the St. Louis County Economic Council that sponsored the business plan contest. That actually gave non-dilutive investment to Mobius Therapeutics as well as uh, very valuable hours in, uh, at law firms, accounting firms, and things like that. We also brought it back here because of uh, uh, organizations like Bio St. Louis that are newly uh, engaged and after uh, the, um, uh, the same mission that we are. And finally, we brought it back because there's a huge base of core competency here in St. Louis in our business specifically. Um, few people really remember that this region is the cradle of the industry in terms of microsurgical device manufacturing. Uh, within 15 minutes of here, I could take you to dozens of instrument shops and device makers that are all, uh, we could walk to some of these, they're that close. Um, Bosch and Long, they make all of their surgical devices here in St. Louis. You've heard of robotic surgery and surgical robotics and robotic, all those instruments are made here in St. Louis. But people seem to forget this. And there's a huge core competency that's available here. So within this location, there are devices and instruments that are made that do surgeries on hundreds of thousands of patients every year. So Mobius believes that we can maximize these local resources and in so doing, create a very efficient model. At its core, Mobius does three things. We do finance, we raise the money, uh, and that puts the, the, the fuel in the tank to make the business go. We do regulatory affairs, and in this, uh, this day and age, that's a critical part of what we have to get done. And the third thing we do is commercialization. Sales, marketing, we take the product out to market. Those things that we view as being core, we do by ourselves. We, we do that with direct employees. All the other items that, that would follow into this business, manufacturing, precision injection molding, precision packaging, st uh, uh, commercial sterilization, uh, pharmacovigilance, pharma uh, pharmaceutical logistics. That's not our bailiwick. And we have local resources that are incredibly skilled, world-class resources that are right here. And we can tap into those and do so very efficiently. And at the same time, we can spread the benefit associated with our success. So this is a big day for Mobius but it's a big day for the whole region because we're staying here and we're doing this manufacturing here and we're committed to doing this and anything else here. So the um, Mobius is called uh, Mobius for a reason. Mobius Therapeutics is called Mobius for a reason. Uh, one, I was a math geek uh, as a kid. But the, the, the other reason is that like a Mobius strip, we believe that this is an endless process. This is something that we can repeat and we believe that we can do this over and over again. And right now, we're gonna to stick to our knitting. We're going to stay focused on what we're doing 
because if we look too far ahead, we're going to trip over the rocks that are right at our feet. But I want to uh, assure you of one thing, that we look forward to a long and prosperous future right here in the city of St. Louis. So I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to introduce the mayor of St. Louis, uh, Mayor Francis G. Slay. Well, thank you, Tim. And uh, Ed, thank you, Ed, Tim. And thank you, uh, everyone, for being here today. It's really a pleasure to join with County Executive Charlie Dooley. Uh, we also have uh, Rodney Krim from St. Louis Development Corporation. I know Denny Coleman from the St. Louis uh, County Economic uh, Council and others uh, to celebrate uh, this success uh, for a company that's based here in St. Louis, uh, but also for St. Louis City as well as the entire St. Louis region. And I think it's important that we do celebrate this success because there are good companies that are doing wonderful things here in St. Louis that we don't hear enough about and I don't think we do a good enough job of, of, of touting or, or, or celebrating the successes uh, that they are um, engaged in and, and that they're uh, enjoying. Uh, but first of all, I just want to thank you, Ed, and thank the entire uh, team at Mobius Therapeutics uh, for your commitment to quality and for your um, your ability to stick with this and, and do something great and get this approval by the FDA. I know that that is no, uh, I have some limited uh, understanding of what it takes, but uh, very limited, and I know that it's a lot of hard work and it takes uh, a lot of dedication and a fair amount of money to do it as well. So um, congratulations on that. We, um, we are very proud of you and what you've accomplished here, and we're certainly pleased that you're here in St. Louis and that you are using regional companies to help you know, package and uh, manufacture and distribute uh, this product uh, all over uh, in a way that will, you know, ho hopefully, and in, 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 in a way that I'm sure you're expecting to uh, add to the successes that your company is, uh, is enjoying, but also to showcase what's really happening in St. Louis. So it really get provides prestige to our city and our region, and I want to thank you uh, for that. Um, you know, this is, um, this is a wonderful um, facility here, the Center for Emergency Technologies, and what they do every day to help cultivate and grow um, companies, uh, people who have an idea that they want to uh, develop and then market into something that is uh, usable, for consumers and for the public and to help improve uh, health and uh, opportunities to uh, address health issues, uh, but also to, uh, to profit and to have uh, employ people and to, to make some money and, and, and help uh, uh, to improve our economy here locally. So thank you. Congratulations on your success. I really appreciate it. And uh, just one other thing. Um, do you have anything that addresses a sty? Because I, I could use some help with that. Uh, but, but anyway, thank you for uh, all you do. And hey, this is great to join with you in celebrating this wonderful success for your company and for the St. Louis region. Uh, Mayor Slay, we can have something for that sty in about six years. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, next, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, County Executive Denny Coleman. Mr. Coleman and the St. Louis County Economic Council. Mr. Dooley, uh, sorry, Charles. <laughs> Mr. Dooley uh, sponsored the St. Louis County Economic Council's business plan contest, which we won in 2010. And uh, that was a major motivator. That was real cash. It was non-dilutive investment in this company. It was valuable, extremely valuable professional service hours uh, from, uh, from Reuben Brown Group, from Thompson Coburn, that allowed us to do our offering, to raise the money. We, quite literally, we couldn't be here without that, uh, uh, without what you've done, Mr. Julian. We're very grateful that you came. So thank you so much for coming. I'm going to be brief. First, let me say um, I'm glad you explained to me what Mobius means because I was wondering that <laughs> myself. I couldn't figure it out. And Mary Slade, my good friend, it was always good to be with him. Uh, I thought it was another reason, but your eye got hit, but I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> but anyway, well, let me say a couple of things to be very brief. First of all, to Denny Coleman and to Rodney Clam, two great guys doing a tremendous job. I understand why you said Denny, because Denny brought this idea to me. He said, Charlie, I got a great idea. He calls me Charlie. Don't call me Colin Executive. He says, it's Charlie. <laughs> I got this great idea. But the, the thing that I liked the most about Denny's idea was this. It wasn't about St. Louis County. It was about the region. He didn't care where he came from. 
if it makes sense for this region, it made sense for all of us. And he recognized what Mary and I keep saying over and over again, we have got to work together to make our community more progressive and be more inclusive of the entire region, and that's how we grow. And so, Denny, I do want to thank you for that, but even more important to think about our partners. Edward Jones is a great partner in this. They really championed this idea. It did make sense about our business plan and give them some money that's unrestricted. But the best part I liked about it also, the second best part about it, Ed gave back. And one of our incubators, he gave a talk about how he won the competition. He did such a great job. People in the audience, audience said, now I know why we lost. He did an outstanding job and talking the way through. He's very proud of it. He did an uh, outstanding job. So on behalf of St. Louis County, we're just glad to be here to work with our good friend Mary Slay and, and Ed, doing an outstanding job. But it's all about the region, folks. It's about the region. It's moving the St. Louis region forward. And I will tell you this, I mean it with all sincerity. If it's good for St. Louis City, it is good for St. Louis County. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when we first moved in, the president of the CET uh, was Marsha Mellitz. And uh, over the last couple of years, uh, I, I count I, I believe I can now count Marsha as one of, our, uh, one of my friends. She is uh, uh, a calm voice in the middle of a tsunami. And, uh, and so I'm so delighted that she was able to make the time to come here today. Marsha Mellett. Well, thank you, Ed, and certainly thank you, Mayor Slay and, and County Executive Dooley. It's always a pleasure to have you come. We always know that it's a special event when, when you take the time to show up, and it is a special event. Uh, we are really very proud of Ed and all the team at Mobius. Uh, I learn as much from just watching these companies as I do from anything else I do. And uh, Ed has just a ma been a master at the way he's guided this company uh, through all of the uh, dealings with FDA, which can be difficult at times, but he stayed calm and he kept at it and he'd go back when, when he was hitting a uh, a challenge with them and keep plugging away. Uh, and I, I just wanted to say that the, the concept of what Mobius is, is really uh, on the cutting edge of what we're seeing happening now. Uh, many of you probably read that there is a shortage of drugs in the pipeline in the large pharmaceutical companies. And there's also a shortage of money to bring a lot of these new technologies forward. However, there, are, there is an effort, and this is a great example of it, to look at drugs that either were sitting on the shelf and, and were maybe tested for toxicity but never taken all the way uh, through tr clinical trials to market, or in the case of, of this particular drug, were being used off-label and had issues. And they identified, that's what he talked about his model, they identified this drug as something that physicians were using, and yet there was no standard of production, um, and there were issues with the drug. They have solved all those issues. They've made a standard drug. Um, this is uh, something that they already know that there's a market for, um, and they're ready to do more. And uh, we'd like to see more companies like this. Uh, Leaving the center, as I did, transitioned about uh, over this last year to a brand new organization called BioSTL. And the reason we created this organization is be because we saw companies like Mobius and, and the other companies that the Biogenerator has and that CET has uh, here and the potential. And we know that with the, the, uh, the resources that we have here with our outstanding universities, and other research uh, enterprises here that we have huge potential in this region to do a lot more companies like this. And we have companies like Synergetics that are global companies that are providing services to this industry that we want to uh, promote also. So this organization was created to be able to really move the St. Louis region's bioscience enterprises to the next level, and we're anticipating a lot more successes. So you guys, put it on your calendars. We're gonna have a lot more <laughs> companies like this. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming.
Finally, I'd like to introduce the uh, president of Synergetics, uh, David Habel. Dave uh, is, uh, took us uh, from a very fledgling concept and uh, partnered with us and realized that what we could do here is something that would be good for all parties. It's good for the patients, it's good for Mobius, and it's good for Synergetics, and it's good for the region. Um, so I'm actually a retread at Synergetics. I, uh, I was at Synergetics uh, up until the, the public offering and I left. But uh, so now I'm back in the, in the halls and uh, I have to wear a badge now. But, uh, uh, but it's, it's a truly a delight to have Dave here. Thank you. Retread. I was going to say alumnus, but uh, now congratulations to Ed and this team. This has been a, an incredibly complex process. So having to navigate the, uh, the FDA and import uh, drugs from overseas and figure out all this sterile packaging is, uh, is a huge accomplishment and something that Ed and his team should be uh, really proud of. Um, and as he said, he couldn't have done it without the resources of the, uh, the St. Louis area. So six years and a lot of money to get to the point where we can just sell something uh, is the reality of uh, what we're dealing with in the life science industry um, for good reason. Uh, but uh, hats off to having uh, done all that. Synergetics has uh, been a St. Louis company, area company since 1991. Uh, you know, I, I think we would uh, count ourselves as a real success story. We started uh, with a couple people literally in a garage. Uh, one of them's here today, our founder, Kirk Gamp. Uh, today we have over 350 people uh, making metal, medical devices in this area. So it's something uh, we're really proud of. Uh, as Ed alluded to, we have a, a global operation. We do business over 40 company, countries uh, worldwide. Uh, so uh, so it's, a, uh, it, it's a big deal. Um, and I uh, want to congratulate Ed on uh, pulling something off that's uh, incredibly difficult in, uh, in our world. So uh, thanks, Ed, and the, uh, and the team. And uh, pleasure to meet you all here today. Great. So in, in closing, I really want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, Mayor Slay, uh, County Executive Dooley, I got it right this time. Thank you. Uh, Marsha, Dave, uh, it's, uh, and uh, Denny and uh, Rodney and all those that came uh, to join us here today. Um, we couldn't be here without the collective resources that are uh, surrounding us. It's not one person, it's not even just our team. It's everybody that's in this room that has made this happen and, uh, and brought this here. Yeah, it is a big deal. We're pretty proud of ourselves, but we have a long way to go. And uh, what we look for is that uh, uh, being able to keep this up uh, over and over and over and over again. So we'll be available for questions immediately following. Thank you so much for coming.